I'm here in Conway, Arkansas to figure out one thing. Is Retro Rick's convention better than ours, SoCal Gaming Expo? And really there's only one way to do that and that's to go to RetroFest, otherwise known as RickCon, which is pretty much the real name. We're gonna interview vendors, guests, people that are just there, attendees, all that jazz and put it to the test. I hope mine's way better. I have a feeling it will be. All right, Arkansas, let's see what you got. Let's do this. Excuse me, your, your car's a little dirty. You might want a car wash. I think you drove over a puddle on accident. So everybody's still setting up here, but as you can see, this is kind of the general layout vicinity. It's beautiful. Look at this. You got giant, big Mario and Luigi right here. What's, I'm, I'm gonna go behind the scenes where I'm not supposed to go. Is this, is this livestock out here? So I can't talk too much about vendors yet because everybody's still kind of setting up, but I'm noticing there's a ton of video game vendors and also a ton of vintage clothing vendors. This is already a good, uh, good feeling for me. And speaking of clothes, I spotted this last night off the camera. I love the fade on this. Single sits on top, double on the bottom. Beautiful. From these two handsome gentlemen, by the way. It's like Chris Cron, just darker. That's crazy! How much, how much for this shirt, bro? What do I got on, 85? I don't even know, bro. Whatever you tell me for, I will pay you right now. If you now. had your caps out, it would be 50 bucks. But oh, dang it! Away, man. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, 50 bucks? I'm in. Let's do it. Cool. All right, Ben, we're behind the scenes back here. What, what's going on back here? What's like the plan okay. with all this? Well, that's the staff shirts, so you only get one if you're staff. Okay. And I have then, a staff infection. Does that count? And then, yeah, we're putting on these aprons, and we're giving out and lanyards that, and the wristband and all that stuff. Ben, nice work, dude. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I want this type of work at SoCal next year. Yes, sir. <laughs> How you feeling? How you feeling? How you feeling? I'm okay. <laughs> Is your expo gonna be better than SoCal? Gaming conventions are fun, I have to admit. I'm having a blast at this convention, but there's something that happens when you go to conventions and every gamer will attest to that. People get hot, sweaty, muggy, kind of gross. Thank you to Mando today for sponsoring today's video to help us out. Look at this awesome starter pack Mando sent me. Some good smelling stuff, by the way. This is the Mando Body Wash Pro Sport. We also have right here the Whole Body Deodorant Spray On. And then you got the, the bar style. You have the Mando Whole Body Deodorant. And then Clutch, 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 Clutch for places like this expo. Mando Deodorant Wipes. The smell that I'm using is Cloverwoods and my goodness, what a good smell. When you're at conventions, I'm telling you, y'all, people are anywhere else just out getting sweaty, doing your daily activities, whatever it is. Use this. Do everyone a favor, including yourself. You gotta use it. it it's, a, it's a must. Mando was created by a doctor who firsthand saw how BO is always being mistreated and misdiagnosed. Mando is a high-performance, whole-body deodorant that you can apply anywhere, such as pits, packages, and your feet. Mando is clinically proven to control odor better than a shower with soap alone. 12 hours after a shower, the average man's grundle odor level was 5 out of 10. With Mando, the average grundle odor is a level 0 out of 10. Mando has four different scents that you can choose from. Your options are bourbon leather, clover woods, which is my favorite, Mount Fuji, and pro sport. And they even have unscented. Mando's starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, or a spray deodorant, and two free products of your choice, like mini body wash and deodorant wipes, and free shipping. Luckily, I have a discount code to help you get hooked on my favorite smelling whole body deodorant on the market. New customers get $5 off a starter pack with our exclusive code. That equates to over 40% off your starter starter pack. Use code PIXELGAME at Mando-PIXELGAME. Going to be better than SoCal. And I think it's going to be homier because it's like smaller. Like it's you're going to allow in more homies? Yeah. Ricky! I've abducted Retro Rick's son in order to take him on the world we do. <laughs> He's safe. He's safe. Is this a joke? Uh, this expo is beautiful, but look at this. This is disgusting. We would never allow a sticker on the floor at SoCal. Negative one point so far, Rick. Really, really impressed with how wide the aisles are here, Rick. Got to admit it, really wide aisles. Oh, although, another negative point. Is this, is this a wrinkle? A wrinkle? 
That is unacceptable. SoCal would never do that. Uh-oh, Curtis is gonna be all about these when he arrives. Curtis is here, by the way, and so is Chris and everybody. It just started to open for the early guests, so people are starting to pop in, but those he will want. Speak of the devil, and this shall appear. Do you guys think this is gonna stack up to SoCal? <laughs> Well, what's your thought? What's your thought? Yeah, maybe, maybe. I maybe? love my boy. What do you think? Maybe, maybe. Bro, you guys are. Like we, you know what we're missing though at SoCal? We don't have bales of hay and gun shows. There was so. literally, <laughs> there was livestock outside. <laughs> this is disgusting. We would never allow this, Chris. Look at this. This is oh, a no. piece of tape on the floor. Are you kidding me? Who quality checks this place? <laughs> Clearly nobody. Clearly nobody. <laughs> Attention. Subscribe to my freaking channel. <laughs> they do have a really nice selection of arcades, but it's mighty. There's like good, good titles here. Everything's really clean, laid out in like a really ergonomic way to where it's easy to get what you want to get to. I do love that they have all those Donkey Kongs as well. A lot of times when you go to conventions, a lot of people want to play like the classics that everybody knows and loves, even though there's always the weird ones. So to see all those too, it's really cool. Rick, so far he's doing great. I gotta highly critique him today. Hyper over critiquing, but still, he's doing great. Right here, we have the Ninja Turtle van. This thing is beautiful inside and out. Wow, this thing is pristine too. I know Rick was sharing videos about this, and this is absolutely beautiful. What a cool piece to have. Uh, I have to say, this is freaking awesome, Rick. All right, enough of me talking to myself and figuring this out without the full group here. I wanna wait until everybody's here and put this expo to the test when it's full of attendees. I actually just used the restroom too. This wasn't just for comedic picturing. What am I saying? I see I don't have Stanley. And I admit I also don't have Woods gonna be mad at me because he had a copy over there of Wampum. Where'd Wampum go? I could have swore I saw Wampum over here. Wampum as well, uh oh. All right, he said 90 bucks. By the way, a, a viewer of the show just sold this to me right now. I offered him 20 bucks for it. And then 90 bucks, you know what's hilarious? I had $91 in cash on me. Or whatever you said, right? Whatever, yes, 90 bucks, whatever you said. I'm not the smartest. So that does add two more games to my NES set, but the problem is I made a giant mistake today. And I feel like an absolute idiot because the reason I made my little NES Pursuit booklets and the reason me and Minibox Gaming have been working with them is because they're made for places where you don't have signal and don't have Wi-Fi. I don't have Wi-Fi here and I forgot the booklet, so I have no idea what my count is and I have no internet service here. And Mario, you creepy Mario head. What, what are the count? What's the count we're at? Because I've checked at home now officially. That's how many NES games we're at in the set. Oh my gosh. A viewer of the show just gave this to me. Adding another game to the set, he said, Riff, thanks for not being afraid to share your faith on the channel once in a while. I don't push anything, but that was so cool. Noah's Ark, Wisdom Tree, CIB, let's go. I am so thankful for real. Thank you, Jeremy. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is my friend. Jesus is a friend of mine. I have a friend of All right, real, real question, not being stupid. How's Retro Rick's convention so far? Retro Rick's convention uh, is really bad. My convention's way better. I'm kidding. How's the, how's the convention treating you so far? So far, so good, man. Can't be any better. Look around. Oh, it's nice to finally have something here. I mean, it, it really is nice. I mean, the closest thing we got is Retro Palooza, so it's nice to have something in our back backyard. Heck yeah. Fam. Aaron. How do you feel about this place? It's great. No, your real thoughts, what you told me yesterday about how much it sucks. <laughs> Not on camera. All right, you're a vendor. How do you how do you feel about all this place so far? Oh, it's amazing. Uh, the love, support. Uh, I mean, it's fantastic. What more can you ask for? We drove 2,000 miles for this to support the cause. Holy cow! Yeah, nice. we have. Um, I can tell you right now, following Retro Rick, uh, when he was below a thousand, yep, uh, and all the way up now, uh, a lot of what he's done and built because I followed it because I've aspired to do the same thing. I opened cool. my store within a year of him. I've gone from the basement to my own Let's spot. Go. So, yeah. Well, my goal is to get Retro Rick down below a thousand subscribers again. Yeah. Between me and you, bro, what do you really think of Retro Rick? Like really, the camera's not on, I promise. Okay, so I get here, right? Yeah. And I'm supposed to be a guest. And they're like, we don't see you on the list. And I'm oh, like- You're nobody, it's a Rick. Okay, and then I leave last night 
And I was like, dude, what's my room information? And he goes, yep. Beep, boop, boop. Oh, I, I don't know. Figured. Yeah. That's so typical of Rick. We, we slept on the street last night. That's typical of Rick. I hate that guy. <laughs> you still feeling good? You still feeling good? You still feeling good? I don't think Mario is this tall. She is a Butte Clark. This is from Christmas Vacation. Well, for me, I'm always gonna use Christmas Vacation as the best one. This is beautiful. Super, like, almost every bit. From what I looked at, I pulled up a Google and I'll show you guys some video of everything in the movie. And it all looks very accurate. This is so cool. I love the green color in real life. I love when you see movie cars kind of come to life, especially the ones you're not used to, right? I've seen a lot of the ones that are out there in the world, but this I feel like isn't as popularized, so this is amazing. You may think you hate it now, honey, but where do you drive it? Also, I got to meet Harry Tornado. They're filming though right now for Caleb. I only thought I was allowed to work for Caleb, but apparently I've been replaced, but we got I, them I'm here. literally recording in the background of my shot. I don't care about you or anything you do. If you know my rule about getting cameras in the shot, what are you doing? Well, Rick's is smaller than yours. In what way? Let me see your best rave move, dude. Huh? You're in a rave right now. What move do you do? Oh, the music's dropping. <laughs> oh, shoot. Hey, I could, I actually felt that a little bit, dude. I know, dude. I feel it. That was good. I feel that, was good. It. that was good. How's it pressing? <laughs> hey, can you do me a favor and put those in the clearance section? Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're taking a breather to go get some smoothies, and I've obviously been trolling with Rick a lot. Rick has been doing an amazing job. This convention is so much fun. Definitely feel the hospitality from the people. People are being amazing. We'll come back in and check in again. I wanna kinda go a little bit deeper in some of the other stuff, but for now, it's smoothie time. All right, boys. What kind of smoothies are we feeling today? Uh, tropical Cafe. Tropical Cafe, okay. Curtis wants to come and go. Smoothies. Curtis wants to go to come and go. That is a real place here. <laughs> Extra frothy. Oh, he's recording. <laughs> so, oh, oh. It's even better. <laughs> With the mic on. Yeah. Loud and clear. <laughs> At the expo, it's later in the day now. Let's see how busy it is, how it's going in there. I have a feeling things are going good. We've seen a lot of people in the parking lot. Ben, you've been having a good time so far? Yeah, man. Been you're volunteering. You're enjoying. such a good helper, Ben. Good stuff. You're such a good guy. You know that, right? Oh, well, thanks, dude. I appreciate you. You're welcome. The true way to find out, the true way to find about the expo, we gotta ask the attendees. We can't just ask vendors, we can't just ask people we know. We gotta ask attendees straight up what they think. Let's investigate. All right, what do you think of the expo so far? I think it's really cool, fun, and exciting. And, you know, it's really cool that towns like this can put something together for all the community and people that love retro stuff, games, clothes, anything. So, good. Love to hear it. It's been really fun. Loving it. Every Loving it so far? Every minute of it. You don't think it's horrible? Not at all. Just say, it, say it's horrible. I can't. Dang it. <laughs> I'm uh, really into it so far. So we're not like that big into vintage games and everything, but I've been following everybody's channel, so I had to show up and see what was around. Heck yeah, dude, appreciate it. A little bit of everything. All right, all right. Trying to get somebody to talk trash in this place, but nobody will do it. Hey, hey, it's very good. We're having a lot of fun. You having fun too? You having fun? Yeah. You having a good time? Yeah. Let's go, that's what I like to hear. So far, so good? Austin, I was hoping you would talk bad about it. I'm trying to get somebody to talk bad about Rick here. Oh, we can't do that. Dang it, dang it, everyone's too nice in this part of the town. Dang it. He's got everyone fooled. <laughs> yeah, he has us all fooled, I like that. Thank you guys. Hey, what, how do you, what do you think of this convention yeah. so far? I mean, it's literally the worst one I've ever been to. Okay, finally, someone yeah. who knows Rick, yeah. understands behind, and Rick, is he a good guy behind camera? No, he's so mean, dude. Thank you. So mean. Finally, honesty. Yeah, so, for sure. Thank you. All right, what do you think of the expo so far? So far, it's wonderful. This is actually my first expo I've ever been to, and it's not going to be my last. Consensus from the people, as much as I tried to get him to talk bad, besides Adam, who knows Rick, everybody's loving this place. But there's a band playing. Let's check it out. <laughs>
to kind of come on the scene recently and out of nowhere, just to kind of like your channel just went from zero to a hundred real quick. It's wild. I don't know what to do. I'm like, it's it's just really weird. People are like, hey, I saw you on YouTube, and I'm like, that's awesome. Thank you. You guys went from like owning your own con, your own store, to this to the bar, and then all of a sudden when YouTube jumped, have more people oh, yeah. notice you like as a face? For sure. They come in the shop all the time now, and they're like, I saw your video. Any any weirdos? Always. Yeah. That was a thing before YouTube. So. Has it gotten extra? Slightly. Are you watching? Are you the weirdo? Are you? Are you being the weirdo? Don't be weird. So at the convention, the biggest bummer was we did a panel and sadly, nobody showed up except for these people. I want to talk about Retro Rick and this convention. Let's talk. I always say that my love language is joking around with people that I like or love. And I've been messing around this whole video, pointing out funny things that are just, you know, silly or making jokes about like, hey, talk bad about Rick or say this about the convention. I'm so, so, so proud of Rick. So as many of you know, I've been super close with Rick for a very long time, not just as his editor, but way beyond that family, friends, faith, channel, fun, goofiness, things we have in common. And to see him take this from even his YouTube channel, to his store, to his convention. Rick, you can never accuse him of not going full steam ahead. Rick puts the best effort into things. He doesn't go short, he doesn't sell anybody short, he takes care of you, and he always goes above and beyond, every time. And in closing, I wanna say that I'm proud of him. He's crushed it. He's done amazing. The community sense is unreal. You feel it with every person that you meet. Southern hospitality, whatever you wanna call it, Rick has curated a gaming convention that is full of amazing booths, but filled with amazing people inside. Heck, at our panel, packed with people, and it was so much fun. I am truly, truly impressed, and Rick, I gotta say, you crushed it. You absolutely crushed it. But as for me and the crew, we're out of here. Rick, proud to call you a friend, man. I really am.